During an ordinary day at the local zoo, a playful young gorilla misbehaves in front of the human crowd, but his dad is watching, and when he steps in, he quickly sets him straight with a few moves. In November 2017, a group of visitors at Twycross Zoo in Leicestershire, England, had the unique opportunity to witness a remarkable interaction between two western lowland gorillas. Umbi, the towering silverback, was resting after a long day of gathering straw for his den. The sun was shining high in the sky, and he was soaking up in it. The visitors snapped pictures at him, marveling at the strength of his body and his commanding presence. To them, Umbi was the epitome of a powerful primate, but to somebody else, he was just dad. Gorillas and humans share a staggering percentage of their DNA and have been observed to display similar behaviors as well. So, just like human children delight in annoying their parents from time to time, Umbi's sons Shufai and Lope decided it was time to interrupt dad's well-deserved rest. As young gorillas, their lives were all about play. They frolicked around all day, brimming with boundless energy, chasing each other and making noises. They were usually content with playing with each other, leaving mom and dad to take care of the responsibilities. However, that day, they decided to involve their father in their games. The zoo workers immediately noticed the knowing look that passed between the brothers as they surveyed their sleeping father and planned the best prank. So, the staff whipped out their phones and started recording, happy to film what they thought was going to be a heartwarming moment between primates. While Shufai kept a little distance, his older brother Lope found the courage to approach his dad. As poor Umbi tried to rest his eyes, Lope stepped into his personal space, looking around as if he was genuinely curious about that side of the enclosure. Everyone could see he was simply standing there to annoy his father, and Umi himself opened and closed his eyes a few times, as if to say, really, this is where you want to stand right now? Parents can never get a break from their children, and gorillas make no exception. Still, Umbi reacted with the gentleness everyone knew he possessed, despite his size. With a low rumble of amusement, he chuckled at his son's antics, recognizing the exuberance of youth. Some people said he even shook his head, just like a human father would do in these cases. Perhaps he knew that sometimes, the best way to get a child to stop being annoying is to ignore them altogether. But Lope was undeterred. He bounced around Umbi, his small form darting in and out like a playful shadow, desperately trying to catch his father's eye. Umbi kept his eyes closed and his posture relaxed, hoping his son would find another source of amusement. However, Lope grew bolder with each passing moment, moving towards his father inch by inch and disrupting his well-deserved sleep. Umbi was known as a gentle giant among the zoo workers, but they also knew that he could snap at a moment's notice. Despite his sweet demeanor, he was still a wild animal, and the leader of his family at that. Frustration flickered in his wise eyes when his son came even closer and started casually ripping grass. Umbi opened his eyes, his attention now fully on Lope, their gazes locking in a silent exchange. This was no longer mere playfulness. It was a test of boundaries. It was almost as if he was saying, enough, little one. But just like all children of all species, Lope didn't know when to quit. He wanted to elicit a reaction from his father. Little did he know he was about to get one he wouldn't forget for a while. As the young gorilla turned his back to his dad and pretended to have found the perfect spot for a stretch, his little brother Shufai poked his head out of the door of their enclosure. To the zoo staff, he looked like he was checking whether his older brother had already gone too far. The little one looked back and forth between Lope and Umbi and disappeared once again into the safety of the enclosure. Perhaps he knew that his father was about to lose his patience. Lope moved a few steps back, then returned to the spot Umbi had chosen for the nap he was not going to enjoy. Then came the reaction Lope had been waiting for. The majestic silverback huffed and swiftly got up, leaving his spot to take a little walk. Perhaps he was trying to calm himself down before making a scene in front of the humans. 
and perhaps he would have forgotten the entire encounter if his sons hadn't decided to follow him again. Looks like peace and quiet weren't in the cards for Umbi that day. But after his quick meditation session on the grass was ruined as well, the gorilla decided enough was enough. In a swift motion that barely allowed his son to get out of the way, he angrily charged towards the opposite side of the enclosure, showing them exactly what the rage of an adult silverback was like. The zoo visitors held their breath, wondering what Umbi would do next. Just a few weeks earlier, the staff had shared a video of him pouncing on his mate and sons in a moment of anger. The clip had not been shared to cast a bad light on Umbi, but to remind the visitors and the whole world that, despite their usually gentle demeanor, gorillas are still wild animals with predatory instincts. So, here they were now, waiting for Umbi to charge back at his sons and set them straight. However, Umbi decided against punishing his children for their mischievous behavior. After all, they seemed scared enough as they were. In fact, little Shu Fai was running away from his dad, perhaps towards the gentler embrace of his mother or the safety of the enclosure. Momentarily stunned by his father's response, Lope shuddered, surprise evident on his tiny face. A whimper of worry escaped him, the realization dawning that his antics had crossed a line. Shaken, Lope quickly gave his father the space he had been asking for all day, his dark eyes fixed on Umbi. The silent exchange between father and son spoke volumes, conveying both acceptance and lingering defiance. As his playful energy simmered down, a grudging respect settled over Lope, his demeanor softened by the weight of the lesson learned. With a small shake of his head, he turned away from Umbi, seeking solace and, perhaps, a new approach to garner his father's attention. As Umbi finally rested, Lope sought out his brother Shu Fai for companionship. Together, they engaged in a different game, their playful antics filling the air with laughter and joy. However, videos of the unique gorilla interaction between Umbi and Lope quickly spread like wildfire across social media platforms. As the footage circulated, it sparked enormous online conversations. People from all walks of life weighed in on Umbi's parenting skills. Some found the exchange amusing, marveling at the parallels between human and gorilla behavior. Others, however, expressed concerns about the future of gorillas in the wild. Others, however, expressed concerns about the future of gorillas in the wild, highlighting the threats facing their natural habitats and the urgent need for conservation efforts. Amidst the viral sensation, the spotlight turned to Twycross Zoo, the unlikely setting for this heartwarming tale of family dynamics among gorillas. Nestled in the serene countryside of Leicestershire, England, the zoo had long been known for its vibrant array of wildlife, particularly in its primate center. Their journey with the gorillas had begun in 2009, when three female western lowland gorillas, Asante, Biddy, and Ozawa, arrived at Twycross. Among them, Ozawa held a special significance, having been born right there at the zoo. Her arrival marked a pivotal moment in Twycross's commitment to preserving the genetic diversity of the species and ensuring a sustainable future for generations to come. Then, a silverback named Umbi arrived at Twycross Zoo three years after the introduction of Asante, Biddy, and Ozawa. His presence sparked excitement among staff and visitors alike as they eagerly awaited the unfolding of a new chapter in the zoo's gorilla family. Soon, he chose Ozawa as his mate, and in January 2013, she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy named Lope. On September 24, 2016, another momentous occasion unfolded as baby Shu Fai made his grand entrance into the world. Their arrivals were met with boundless excitement as staff and visitors marveled at their tiny form and inquisitive nature. Both brothers found themselves under the watchful eye of Umbi from the very beginning. With each passing day, they eagerly mimicked their father's every move, learning and growing under his guidance. As Lope and Shu Fai grew, so too did their mischievous streak, much to the delight of those who observed them. Their playful antics brought laughter and joy to all who crossed their path, 
their boundless energy a constant source of entertainment. Yet, amidst the laughter and lightheartedness, a deeper bond began to form between father and son. Umbi, with his gentle yet firm demeanor, nurtured Lope and Shufai's adventurous spirits, guiding them through the complexities of guerrilla life with patience and love. The incident of him charging at them for disrupting his sleep schedule was one of those moments, a gentle reminder of boundaries and respect within the guerrilla family. Despite the initial shock, both Lope and Shufai quickly learned from the encounter. Through moments of guidance and correction, Umbi continued to shape their character, instilling in them the values of resilience and empathy that would serve them well in the years to come. As the sons of a leader, they would one day be expected to guide and protect their own families and to maintain order within their small communities. This intention is what, on another occasion, caused Shufai to find himself on the wrong side of his father's death stare. It all started when a sudden change in Ozawa's behavior raised concerns among the zoo staff. The usually vibrant and active gorilla began to eat less and show signs of lethargy, prompting worries about her health. With Ozawa's well-being in mind, the staff separated her from the rest of her family to conduct thorough medical examinations. Relief washed over the vet team when the diagnosis revealed that Ozawa was suffering from nothing more than a mere fever, a common ailment that, if left untreated, could worsen over time. With the cause of her illness identified, the doctors wasted no time in administering the necessary medications, their expertise and diligence ensuring Ozawa's swift recovery. Within days, the effects of the medication began to take hold, and Ozawa's strength returned, her once languid demeanor replaced by a renewed vitality. Despite her improved condition, however, the doctors recognized the need for caution, knowing that Ozawa still required time to fully recuperate before reuniting with her family. However, a few days later, the decision was made to reintroduce Ozawa to her family despite her ongoing need for rest and recuperation. As she was led back to their enclosure, the familiar sights and sounds of her home greeted her, offering a sense of comfort and familiarity amidst the uncertainty of her recent illness. As the female gorilla was reunited with her family, her children rushed to greet her in their own endearing ways. They surrounded her with affection, welcoming her back with eager gestures and soft vocalizations. Ozawa, in turn, reciprocated their gestures of love, her maternal instincts kicking in as she embraced her sons. Despite the occasional exasperation at their boundless energy, Ozawa cherished her playful son's antics, realizing how much she had missed them during her absence. Lope and Shufai seemed to intuitively understand that their mother needed time to rest and recuperate. Sensing her fatigue, they adjusted their behavior accordingly, adopting a gentler approach in their interactions with her. They refrained from their usual roughhousing and mischief, instead opting for quiet moments of companionship and comfort by her side. However, the respite from Shufai's playful antics proved to be short-lived. One day, as he engaged in a spirited game of chase with his brother Lope, his exuberance inadvertently caused him to collide with Ozawa, knocking her off balance. The impact left the female gorilla shaken and upset, her distress palpable as she struggled to regain her footing. Umbi, the ever-watchful father, had observed the incident with growing concern. As he witnessed Ozawa's distress, he rose to his feet with a deep, rumbling groan, his paternal instincts kicking into overdrive. Casting a stern look in Shufai's direction, Umbi communicated his disapproval, his gaze carrying the weight of a thousand lessons yet to be learned. Caught off guard by his father's stern expression, Shufai's playful laughter faltered, replaced by a sudden realization of his wrongdoing. With a heavy heart, Shufai retreated to a corner of the enclosure, his head bowed in shame as he avoided Umbi's gaze. The once boisterous gorilla now sat in solemn silence, grappling with the consequences of his impulsive behavior. In the somber stillness of the moment, Shufai vowed to learn from his mistake, determined to earn back his father's trust through actions of humility and obedience. Umbi understood that Shufai was still young and full of boundless energy and soon forgave him, 
despite the occasional missteps, he was still loved and cherished by both parents. With Ozawa fully recovered from her illness, the gorilla family at Twycross Zoo resumed their daily routines with renewed vigor. Freed from the constraints of sickness, they thrived in their lush surroundings, their bonds strengthened by shared experiences and trials. Yet, amidst the hustle and bustle of zoo life, the memory of Umbi's unique parenting skills with Lope and Shufai remained etched in the minds of both staff and visitors alike. What a nice story. This little gorilla's playful mistake melted everyone's hearts. What parenting moments have made you laugh or learn? Share your stories in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.